And this might seem like a weird thing for to see on Grizzly Channel Outdoors, but we're going to do a computer build. Did I mention I'm going to build a computer? I bring this up because I'm going to build a computer. <laughs> the camera that's shooting this right now, Panasonic Lumix T7S. Okay. The damn thing, it's a great camera. The damn thing shoots too high of a resolution and frame rate for my nine-year-old PC to digest. So. Hello. So, today I'm going to do a video, I guess we could call this, The Law of Unintended Consequences. I started shooting video, I don't know, four years ago. Crappy videos. My intentions were good, but not the best video editing. And, and I was rolling along, living the dream, you know, uh, using this old GoPro Hero 3. And I shot lots of videos that were, you know, that were okay. This thing, uh, geez, I think is it's 11 years old, something like that. And what came along over time, the batteries are they're pooched. They're, they've failed. They're just bulged right out. They don't even fit it anymore. So, uh, I'm forced into buying a fancy new 2021 computer. I looked at the options. I mean, obviously I could have bought another set of batteries for an 11-year-old device. I don't think so. I could have bought another GoPro. Decided not to. I looked around on the internet and I found all the reviews for uh, a rugged outdoor camera, somewhat waterproof, you know. So I come up with is a Panasonic Lumix T7S. And it's supposedly they're water shockproof to six feet. And I'm not going to test that out. What I have done is in the time I've had them, they shoot an excellent video. Excellent pictures. They're really handy. They're not that much bigger than a GoPro, to be honest. Uh, but I ran into a funny little snag, something. This is the unintended part. So we started, you know, I was all excited. I started making videos with the, for trying to uh, process and upload videos on the old PC that came out of this camera. And I really ran into trouble. I, the upload speeds were god awful. I ended up with videos that once they were uploaded, they, they were jumping, and that's why if, if you've looked at a few of my videos and you notice that the, they're circling and jerking in the, in the video, it's due to my graphics processor being unable to process the, the high def video. So what am I going to do about it? Well, this old uh, nine-year-old PC that I'm talking about, I built it. And this is where this is a weird thing for outdoor channel, but this outdoor man is going to build a new PC that can process the graphics and frame rate and the resolution of this Panasonic camera. $3,000 touch. Here's a, I'll show you sort of what I'm getting. And folks, all of the components that I got here are just ones that were recommended to me by the really knowledgeable computer people on the internet on good old YouTube so but I'm going to show you what, what anyway the, the case that I'm going to use the fractal mesh of IC it's just a black case uh, large case it's going to be something Logitech wireless keyboard and mouse. I got two Samsung SSD 9, uh, 980. These are uh, solid state drives, 500 gigabytes. My operating system would be on one. I'll have memory on the other. And I've actually got a 
third one of these, an SSD 980, but in one terabyte coming to complete my build. Uh, external CD-ROM drive. Going to my brother's, <laughs> maybe later today. Let's see here. Memory or sorry, uh, power supply is Corsair RM at RM six fifty X. My uh, CPU cooling, Noctua NHD fifteen. Uh, what have we got? This is my motherboard. Uh, my wood split pretty darn early. Tell you that. Motherboard, uh, Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus, and one other component that I'm a critical component uh, that I still don't have, which is the one other critical component that I. I don't have just yet is uh, an Asus Tough Gaming NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650. Yeah, say that real fast twice. Anyway. anyway. Yeah, I'm going to go build a new computer. It's going to be easy. It's going to be good. Windows 10. The real heart of the process is this uh, Ryzen 3900X uh, processor. But, and then uh, G Skill Trident, uh, 32 gigs of extra RAM each. So, total of 64 gigs extra RAM is going to have in this build. And when I, when I get on days off, which is going to be next Friday because I got to go out next this week. I, I get it on days off Tuesday, and so this week is Birch Firewood week. I'm going to go out to a buddy's, cut up a two quarter birch, bring her home, get her all split, load the wood drip. That's going to take me a couple, three days. And when I'm done that, go on to my brother's. My brother is, uh, you know, I built my, this, I built the old PC and I'm fully capable of building this one, but it's also fun to go visit the brother. And my brother is truly an expert on computers. So the two of us will go down there and we'll uh, throw this guy together. And when we get to that happy part where we're putting all these components into that new case, assembling a new PC, I'm going to videotape it. Now, there's 10,000 videos on the internet of actual experts building PCs, so we're just, we're, I'm just going to do it just to show, you know, I would recommend if you want a real really good computer build stuff that maybe you go to one of those other sites, but uh, see what you think when we throw ours together. That's it for today's lesson. It's like hair 120s on it. It's a bottom mount on it. I hate Phillips screws. I do too. I do test them. I only have that here because I found it and I just decided to put it with everything. Crazy, Amer crazy Americans. Yeah, so you got to be able to get all this stuff too. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So that has to feed in through there. 
that's all the hook up for your front panel. Audio USB 3. So you're not going to pay attention to what this says? Open up and read. <laughs> I've done this a few times. I know. Like, I, I could uh, I could assemble this myself, but I know that you can assemble it easier. I think. I'm sure. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. There. I swear the hardest thing there is to do is try to open up Mo's bags at the grocery store. Tell me about at it. At the produce? Oh my god. They're, they're vacuum sealed shut. <laughs> Builder's Guide Optional Steps. Additional info. These guys are all for the front panel. Mm -hmm. Power switch reset. It says remove side panels. Yes, I know that. <laughs> they warned you that one size box. I, mean, I figured that out too. Look at that. Meshify mini accessories. This instruction wants you to install the power supply first. Yes. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. that, is, is that the wiping block? Yep. A whole bunch of those. Standoffs, right? Yep. And lots of different screen nails. Hard drive mounting screws. If you're going to put a regular hard drive in, hmm. I think that's what they look like anyway. Hmm. We're putting in the uh, SSD that the operating system will go on, 500 gig. Uh, we, <laughs> brother is. Get one of these guys. Oh, you need a standoff in place? Yes. Oh. Right there. And. Need the screwdriver? No? I have a set of uh, screwdrivers that has hex heads on them. Oh. That I, if I'm doing, I don't know, kayaking or fishing, I could have a camera shooting at one a angle and another one from another spot, you know? Yep. Okay, so... Okay, so we got the mountain plates in for where the cooler is going to stand. That is correct. Okay. And at this point, we need to open this up. That's your heat sink paste. That is correct. That's heat sink paste and several other little cables and I think we need to figure out what those other little cables are for first. Right. If they're labeled, there's a little label on each. Low noise adapter. And that says low noise 
noise adapter. So they're all low noise adapters. There's some extra springs. That's for the second fan. Mm -hmm. What are those guys? Do? These are power adapters. So they're going to go where our motherboard. You've got your motherboard stuff all label all out here, but it's getting covered up. Yeah, but that's not going to tell us what these are for. No, these you have to get the information right. From but I'm. Just, I was just thinking it, it shows what different things each of the sockets for. Never use one adapter for both fans by putting it before the Y-split cable. So there's the Y-split cable. Yeah, look at there, that's showing you what you want to do. These Those guys, guys plug into here. I'm not sure which one. I think it depends on how many um, fans. Take a look on that one on the top right there. And does on the top right upper section there, it should show you where the CPU fan goes. I don't know what you're looking at. So. Yeah, so there's a CPU fan and a CPU fan right beside it. Okay. So this guy here would go into there. These guys? Yep. And for some reason they're backwards. One is backwards. But the fan headers are not, so we have to sort of twist one of them around. So that will go there. No. You probably only need one. These are the ends that go in there. Because that that end can go on there. Or these okay, ends. So can look go at on these. There. So this the fans the fans connect into here. Right. Like so. Just like that. Yeah. Okay. So this has to go on there. Right. So what are the what is the purpose of those? Are those filters? Those are almost like isn't that a filter? That's it's, a, it's a low noise Yeah, it's like a filter. It it, it attaches it yeah it attaches between here. Those guys go like this. To act as a filter, right? That looks like that looks correct. That would go in there. And then that one would go in there. Like that. Yeah. And then one of them, that guy goes on the board, this guy goes to a fan, and that goes to the other fan. Because probably, is this a second one going to be for auxiliary cooling? Because um, I well, got it I, depends, right? There's um, that'll go there, right? Because um, I got this these colored fans. They tell you to get. Oh, okay. Um, and though there's, I think there's five fans in this. Okay. And where are you going to put them? I don't know. <laughs> That's your job. You're well, supposed to definitely know. five fans you're, already. You're supposed to know where they go. <laughs> they're just they're colored. They're ac extra fans, colored. I think they're supposed to light up white. I think. Um. They come with instructions. Well, you can mount the fan on the bottom here. Um, those holes are for. I think a lot of people mount these on the top or on the the front. I don't know. 
I'm sure they would fit on the top, provided there's clearance from the cooler. Well, itself. okay, so they're they're a last, they're kind of a last. Yeah, I, I agree. Item. They're they're, they're non-essential at this point. So they, we'll, they we'll are non-essential. They are for looks, basically. So now that we have this, no, that goes in there. Out like that. You didn't put the paste on. I know that. I'm just checking. No, no I, I'm yeah. just checking. No, no. I'm just because you got to have clearance for your yeah for your memory and everything. Right. right. You're just trying to see if I'm going to screw up, aren't you? No. <laughs> no, I, I I'm quite sure you won't. Well, I have been known to, but I've never screwed up enough to damage anything. Well, I, I'm not telling, I, I, I only put that on if you're ready to do it. Do you believe you're ready to do that? Well, ideally, we should have the fans on there first, if we're going to do this at all. Well, I, thought it should... I don't think we need to. I so think we can, I think we can add that. But, but that fan, the one fan was in the middle, right? Yes. The picture picture on the box has the fan on one of the fans at least on the outside. It looks like there's a fan in, in well, there's, between. Well there's on this, look at on this side right there. Right. Oh it shows you how they configure. One is in the inside yep. and one is on the outside. The bigger fan goes in the middle. That fan in the middle is bigger, see that? I think. And it, the fans are labeled. One says secondary. This so is this the secondary. Is, this is the original. Yeah, this is the secondary. So My but, guess is this goes in the middle. Yes. And that one Because it was on the in the middle. Side. But here's the deal. You have to put this, you have to have that in. And you, I know. Without the fan, like as you, as you said. So... So that has to be put in and then the fan attached yeah. to it. Yep. I'm not 100% sure that we need to have these. No, they're for noise reduction. Um, but because but all you've done here is you've increased the length and they only have to go to here because you've got this much. Yeah. You know, theoretically, you don't need these at all. I don't know. So you I, could just take these and plug them straight into there. Yeah. Or straight into that socket, right? But you don't even need that. It's just it's just extra length on the cable because this is going to sit up here. Yeah. So you've got all this cable that's just here making a mess. If it was me, I would take them out of there and not use them at all. I don't right. I don't think they're essential in any way. And you've got two headers here for two fans, so. Should be able to just take that out and just put the fans directly to that. Put the fans direct to that. Yep. I don't think there's going to be enough noise reduction to really matter. Yeah. Use the heat sink with the center fan only in order to guarantee best compatibility with tall RAM modules. Add the second fan to the front fin stack for further improved cooling performance. Connect the fans to the motherboard CPU fan headers. If necessary, use the supplies to split cable to connect both fans to one fan header. That's the whole purpose of that, right? That lets you leave one of those free, Bruce. You know what I mean, Vern? Yeah, but I don't think it matters. Pretty sure it makes no difference whatsoever. Yeah, the only thing is, is where do all these little damn fan, fans connect? Yeah, I, I can see where you don't. It doesn't matter if you use it. You're just learning how that goes back in. 
essentially. Yeah. Um, you have to literally just kind of pull it into place. It needs to be. like that and then this one here just goes sort of like that Oops. So get into there though like that uh, I see there's nothing worse than having the fan fall off when you're trying to do something I would say Too high up. Oh, you can adjust the height of it. You mean? Yeah, well, it gets caught in the fins here, right? Mm. So this side looks about right, but if you see this, they don't match up. So mm. this side here needs to go down. Right. There. About like that. Right. Much better because it's even. There's, there's two fins on each side there. Yeah. So this one needs to come up one. So how do you know what direction? <laughs> how do you know if you got the fan orientated the right direction? Well, here's the thing. The fan is going to go that way. Um, just because of the way the blades are. I know it's hard to tell at this point, but it's going to suck the air. It's going to it's going to suck the air this way. So that means that that probably should go there, because you want to suck it away from the ram, because it'll provide a little bit of cooling for these guys too. That means the second one, which right. is there, yeah. we have to, there we go. These guys have to go into this one. So that one has to go this way. That means that these guys have to go into there. Other way. Yeah. There we go. And then that guy goes on there like that. Oh yeah. Because that that fan can he can be put in place already. Actually, it's the 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 other one has to just get removed in order to get the screws put in. Yeah. And then he can go back in. That is the awkward thing about this. This fan can stay, and this one has to come out. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not that awkward. Once you get it in the case, you'll see it. <laughs> A lot of these fans just uh, they normally just screw in, right? Mm -hmm. but obviously here you can't do that unless you mount this over here. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't work because it conflicts with that. Right. I think at this point I'm just going to put the board in the case first. 
uh, which will, it'll be easier to put the board in without this in place. Sure. So here's the case. And what we need to do, temporarily set that up there. thing you need to put in here is this. You can put the board in without it, but it just leaves it wide open for dust and crap. This is called the I.O. shield, which is, I think stands for input output. Mm -hmm. And it has to fit there. And motherboards are always set up with in this case, there's a PS2 combo uh, plug mm -hmm. connector, and then your audio is at the bottom always. always. And that just goes into that rectangular spot there. And snaps in. And just snaps in, and you just got to... There's a wire in your way there. Oh, that's what the problem is. Thank you very much. Well, I'm here for some reason. It helps, <laughs> it helps to have a good co-pilot. <laughs> but yeah, you just you just push it in by hand. Yeah, I know, they just snap in. See, so when I make these videos, so I'm going to put this on YouTube, eh? Okay. I, I, I heavily filter it and edit it. <laughs> right? There'll be long moments of this that is just pointless, right? So you splice them out or filter them out. Yep. So I don't recall seeing a bunch of standoffs. Well, yeah, yeah, there was. There was, there was a whole is. bunch of them right here. Okay, we're good. This is where I need my other screwdrivers. Uh, because there's a one of them fits this exactly. Yes. And makes it super easy to well, put these in. Well, let's go find the damn things. I don't know where to even begin looking. This is your house? What is this? What do what? No, those are old. That's uh, all. It's all memory. Old RAM. Re recycled stuff. Well. I mean, theoretically, they should be here in this room because this is where I do all my computer stuff. Right. But, well... Oh, look at that. You found them? No, that's a socket. Oh, it comes with a little socket? Yeah. Oh, and a Phillips head goes into uh, that. And of course a Phillips head, yes. <laughs> yeah, so there you what go. What other kind of screw is there in the world? Right. The most important of all screws, not. But I assume that they assume that not everybody has a set of actual tools. Not yeah. that it matters because we they can't assume, find them. They assume, <laughs> right, in this case. <laughs> I mean, it would be better if we could find them, but... So. I've been known to uh, misplace things. Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, more than more than a few times. I'm I'm notorious for carrying whatever the heck I got in my hand you over put it across down somewhere. I set it down. <laughs> I go on. Move, I keep moving, eh? And then ten minutes later, it's like, where the hell did I put that? I didn't realize this was actually metallic, but it's that's cool because you just dropped the screw. Oh, because this is brass. It's not magnetic. Too bad. Stupid brass screws. Well, brass screws are good because they 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 conduct electricity better. <laughs> and these are basically the board is grounded yeah. to the case using these. Right. That only needs like a ounces of pressure anyway. Just 
Um, these need to be fairly snug. Not, not kill them tight, but they need to be fairly snug because I have had cases in the past where um, you go to take the screw out mm -hmm. and what happens is the standoff comes out. The screw is still stuck to the standoff and you can't get it out of the case. Ah. Right. When, when you're doing uh, repairs or um, upgrades, that sort of thing. Yeah. It may be time to go and get another whiskey. That's completely up to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is definitely time. <laughs> I can make that call. You don't even have to phone home. <laughs> oh, God, I'd not phone at home. <laughs> yeah, no, I, that's... <laughs> Did you watch the Blue Jays Yankee game last night? I suppose no. not. No. Man, was it a good ball game? Is that right? Oh yeah. I um, and the, the, it was opening day, and the Blue Jays beat the Yankees, which was beautiful. Like, but it was a good game. Yeah. Well, keep in mind, I don't have cable, eh? Uh huh. Or satellite. I have peasant vision. That's just local cable, or sorry, local over the air. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, so I get uh, I get I uh, is it ITV? Maybe ITV, CTV, um, um, CBC has gone totally digital. Nobody wants. Nobody cares about CBC. The only thing that's any good for is Hockey Night in Canada. It's not even good for that. Well, here's the interesting thing: is that. Uh, <laughs> Channel 56, I'm not sure what it comes out to, mm -hmm. actually broadcasts the hockey games anyway. Oh, yeah. With a feed from TSN. I despise CBC. I despise anything to do with the government. That one looks okay. So, all of the cables are going to end up coming through the front here. But this little guy here, at this point, has to go in there. So we need that. Does he turn this way? No. No, it goes just like that because all of your stuff has to go into the oh, back there. Oh, yeah, your input output stuff. Yeah, yep. that's got to go to that plate, right? Yep. Right. So yes, you need to course. get that in there. Do I need to help you? No, it should be good. And it should match up. Wiggle and jiggle it sometimes. That looks pretty good there. Yep, has to be because it fell into that center alignment. Mm. So now there should be a bunch of these little beggars. Okay, I'm just going to do a taste test here. Good, yeah. Oh, it's good. This is the over. Mm. You only you, your water is tepid though. You're supposed it's to keep your water in the fridge so your water's cold. No. <laughs> you said that way far too easily. Well, I make tea a lot. I just have to heat it up more. Uh huh. If I don't have to heat it up more. I use electric 
Less electricity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's the Your thing. ice melts faster, though. What's more important? Hot tea or cold whiskey? Well. It's a pretty easy answer, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I always have, well, of course, our fridge has an ice maker. It's great, eh? Yeah. And, but I always keep a bottle or two of water in the fridge cold. Yeah. Well, I don't, uh, up until recently, I hadn't made ice cubes in years. Mm hmm But um, I was told that... I actually considered, should I buy a bag of ice when I was coming? But, well, I, these long, I guess that you would have ice. Yes. These long screwdrivers are fabulous for this. I can see that. A, a standard screwdriver, the handle always hits right here. Yeah. And you just can't do anything comfortably. I've never seen a Phillips with a shaft that long. It's, it's ideally suited for this. Yeah, I see Especially that. with a little bit of magnet on the head there. Yeah. Just screwing down the motherboard. It's not. So we got the processor in, the DDR4 RAM, and now the motherboard bolted in, and the I/O plate. The I/O plate has to go in uh, before you do that the little board. dude on the back there. <coughs> <or your. coughs> the Ethernet thing, cable and. The next top. thing that we're going to do is feed the cables through and plug in all these guys down here where your power uh, adapter goes to the board uh, because once you get everything else in here you got that big video card you can't get your hand in there mm. so that's what we're going to do I like how he says we're, we're going to do it well <laughs> it's a figure of speech yeah exactly I, I throw words around loosely too <laughs> so we need to get all of this stuff fed through there Oops. Cable management. This is where the nerds get really excited. Yes, you need to... Uh, Honestly, <laughs> when you watch... <laughs> I, I apologize for saying nerds. They're not nerds, they're geeks. There you go. And I apologize for calling them geeks, because geeks are very necessary. There are certain times I, when a geek is your savior. I'll tell you, I have watched a lot of geek videos, so I sort of maybe I'm a geek too. There's some really, there's some, there, I mean, there's tons, like tons of videos on YouTube showing this kind of stuff, right? And literally every component in this computer build we're doing, I got from a YouTube video. I, I looked up, I just looked up how to build a graphics processing PC. And there's numerous guys with, with, uh, videos that are they're helpful as hell right because I wouldn't know what the hell components to buy without without that that's gonna have to go through right there yeah every I, I think I think the only component that I got in this that isn't what this one guy recommended might be the power supply. What is that trying to tell me? Your uh, cards in the slots. screw. <laughs> so what we're going to do here is uh, undo the fan and we will all this excess cable so we can literally turn the fan and wrap some of the excess cable just around the body of the fan.
this is on a slotted track as well, so you can actually take it. Yeah, it's designed. It's designed. It has a. It's designed for you to take that excess cable. You do that. Have to be careful. We don't go too far with it, though. I think if we do that, it'll be up at the top to start with. Mm -hmm. And then we can just tie it down to that. Right. That'll work better. <clears throat> the way the fan was in there, though, it was quite. Uh, it was low in the track. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that makes any real difference or not. But so I'll be damned if I can see where the second, where the one terabyte SSD goes in. Goes in underneath that plate. Oh, under this plate. Yep. Ah, that's why I don't know where it goes. Because I was looking for, you know, another one of those. Yeah, I was looking for your, your mounting or the mounting point, but connector. Yeah. Well, that, that that little plate does two things. First of all, it's a cooler. It's like a type of heat sink. Okay. And second of all, uh, being that it's in the middle of all those expansion slots, you don't need to beat it up, right? We're talking about uh, that little guy there, the one terabyte SSD. Grammar's trying to focus. Focus. Come on now. <laughs> That's auto auto focus. That's a it, he, he's like I, I I don't know what you're trying to do. I know. Anyway, there's a little plate right there, and uh, that has to be unscrewed, and that's where the one terabyte SSD will will go. This thing is just in the way right now. It's exactly where I need to put my hand. So, uh, I was rant. It was hilarious. Like I get up at two fifty-two this morning. I've been up since then. I went out in the backyard and split wood for two and a half hours. <laughs> Woke up the bride. She was unhappy. She turned into the bride of Frankenstein? No, 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 <laughs> she didn't. But uh, I don't blame her quite, you know, for being a little bit uh, perturbed getting woke up at that hour. I, you know, I snuck around that house. As, I, I know I didn't make a sound, you know, until I got to the back door. And I opened the back door and it went, the hinge. And I had to go in and out twice, right? So, each time. And it was like, that was it. It was game over. And I and I knew it. I was like, uh-oh. Plus, I woke up the cat. The cat was, you should have seen the confused look on the cat. The cat's like, what the hell are you doing up at this hour, right? <laughs> Which is exactly what your wife said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. That's pretty much the filtered version of what she said. <laughs> So, anyway, I went out in the backyard and I was ranting and raving and <laughs> splitting wood and <laughs> drinking coffee. And hydraulic wood splitter, so it, I mean, didn't make a lot of noise. Didn't really, didn't really make any noise, other than me foaming off, throwing my arms around, ranting and raving. <laughs> I'm gonna pull some of these back through here. Yes. Just because we don't need them. The dreaded cable management. But a, a lot of that you can clean up at the end, too. Mind you, you're, you've got them connected, right? So They're all connected. Is, this is as good a time as any. Yeah. You might as well shorten them up while you can, because yeah. the more cable that's out there, the more chances of you snagging it and right. causing an issue of some kind. Yeah. So... This plate, this extra plate here, what's the this screw for? I haven't figured that it out looks like just yet. Um, I, ex I think it's there so that if you ever needed to do modifications, uh -huh. then you don't have to take the board out. You can access the back plate of the motherboard that way. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. It, it, yeah, it looks as if it looks as if it's intended to come out to access or allow another accessory or something to go in there. Well, I can't imagine what. 
Well, we're going to see what happens, but my guess is you'll see the back of the board. So you can leave this out if you want, but by having it in there, it protects all the circles. Oh yeah, you'd be crazy to take it out. So at this point, we'll just put it back. But that's what it's for. But, but if you here's ever, the thing: it it has it has stuff here that's clearly meant for mounting extra stuff. It's very possible. Yeah. Definitely. You don't know what. But at this point, really, it's a, it's a protective cover for the back plate. Yeah. And that's really all that matters. Okay, so if we did that, we can get these all down there, sort of. I think if we just took one of these guys, they can sit down there and they'll be no problem whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> By doing that though, when I turn this around, you'll see that it tidies up the inside of the case quite a bit. Yeah. So you've got this cable, which you can't really do anything about it. You have to have it there. That cable, but we've minimized this, so it makes it easier to get to the SAT drives, sorry, SATA drives. And the safety drives up here if you want to plug anything in there. Yeah. Well, you see that I've got that one terabyte SSD in my old computer that I think I'll probably swap into this. Uh, and you know, in fact, I've got a one terabyte. I think I've got a 200 gig. I might have a 500 gig also in the in there. I could. I I don't need them, <laughs> but I could put them in this. It depends on how much storage space you need. I don't need them. If you don't need them at all. Because I got a one terabyte, there's going to be a one terabyte in here, and if I add that other, that second one terabyte SSD, I mean, that's all I need. I'm going to just swap this so that it goes behind the heavier cable. That'll keep it a little snugger in the back there, too. Here's the problem when you got the board in here. You can't see what you're doing because your hand is bigger than anything you're trying to get at. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. So by doing that, it holds this down. Okay. Okay, so now we are basically ready. We could put the power supply in, I think, at this point. Power supply? Okay. Yeah. So your SSDs don't require any cabling. So the only thing that you need on the power supply is the main source and then you need the two that go up here. And that's it. You don't need anything else in there. I take your word for it. Um, oh, got, we got, ooh, look at the nice little sticker. I like stickers. <laughs> <laughs> where, uh, where did you have that bag of cables for the uh, power supply? I is gave them to you. That's it right there. Yep. <laughs> wow, this is like a do-it-yourself kit. An emergency package you can put in your car. So we definitely need this. Yeah, this Corsair power supply. It's got a nylon bag with a Velcro closure on it, and it, it there's a half a dozen or eight different power supply connectors in it. 
It, it, they're labeled, right? That one says CPU. CPU, yep. So that, uh, we have the light here the light. for a second. The light. Yeah. That one has to go there. That's one of the things, like yeah. all these computer now uh, they're, they're all standardized connectors they're clearly labeled the board they're labeled on the board the connector cables themselves pretty much are all labeled it would only be a problem if you can't read which I was just about to do <laughs> <laughs> what I was trying to put the CPU end down there oh <laughs> but this has to go into the power supply uh, knucklehead Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so now... So, is there going to be a way for that to go out? Yeah, that'll, that'll go out through the back. You're going to root that bit behind the board. Yes, that is correct. Of course you are. See, that's, well, that's why I'm here, right? I'm just a reminder. It's the management aspect of things. <laughs> yeah. This is the part that gets the nerds really excited. Cable management. I meant geeks. I didn't mean nerds. I meant geeks. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I think like that is going to be fine. Should be enough to get down here, I think. Oh, yeah. We'll find out shortly. And then we need a bunch of these guys. Set down the camera once again. And actually, yeah, we do need one of these at least. Um, because, but I don't believe we need this. This is old school. Old school? Yes. That's the old style plugs. Yeah. The SATA plugs are like this. Yeah. SATA plugs in L shape, sort of. Yeah. Not L shape, but. So that fits the old uh, style drives, and there's a term for it. I can't think of what the term is. Old school. It's old school. Yeah. Obsolete. Obsolete. Yeah. <laughs> But people still have drives like that. Yeah, well, this 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 would go to your power supply, and then these are these are to connect uh, to multiple accessories. I would say right here. Actually, th th these are for connecting drives, accessory drives, right? Yeah. Or devices. Yeah. That's that's your power source for the old style drives. Yeah. See that? Whereas uh, now they're pretty much all. Well, they're actually going to this Gen 2, it's Gen 2, correct? Um, SSD? It's an M2. M2. It's an M2. Yeah, Gen 2, M2. The interesting thing about this processor and board is that depending on the CPU that you put in it, the M2s function at either PCI 3, X4, or PCI 4, X, I don't recall what it is, mm. but, but this processor supports PCI 4. That's above my pay grade. It comes down to speed. Yeah, this is this is where I, I don't know. I'd... So if you have one of these, that's probably all that you need installed. Yeah, these, because these are just extras. The uh, one terabyte SSD that I have, I'm sure is a SATA. It'll connect to one of these. And I, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll put those others in just for amusement factor, but I don't need them. Ah. And he is? Yeah, that is, uh, you, you don't need that. Um, throw it. No, don't throw it. Throw it out. But you don't need it. You don't need it. Throw it out. All this old crap, throw it out. What is there about a play in those things? Yeah, that's called a mo uh, Molex connector, I believe is what it's called, is a Molex. Sounds right. And it just sits and floats in there. And yeah. they're a pain in the ass because they always jam. Yeah, I can see it. You can see how, look at this. 
all of these pins they, they'll wiggle independently. I could see we're connecting that up. <laughs> you might have one wanting to go this way or that, especially if you if you're putting your hands on these wires, it makes them just go all over the place. I'm trying to figure out what this one here is for. The disadvantage of a of a, this type of power supply. We well, need a four pin, which I this is a, a an eight pin, and that's an eight pin, and that is an eight pin. This is the main power source. Goes into there, obviously. Should be one that's just four. Well, they're labeled. This is PCIe, but there's no plug for it because there should be one there. That's just well, four. Well, let's refer reference our map of the board again. No. Yes. It is possible that this power supply doesn't need that socket. What does the manual for the power supply say? <laughs> well, here's the thing. There's only so many cables in this nice little bag. Yes. Right? Yeah. No more cables in there. Yeah. There's not a single one of these has a four plug end. Right. So if there's none with a four plug end, you can't plug it in there. Logical. It's absolutely logical. Spock. Spock would be proud. <laughs> yes, dispassionately so. Oh, on night, oops, on night shift we were watching Star Trek Marathon. Eh? All those episodes is from the original series from like 1968 was the year pretty much that we were watching. Yep. I love those old shows. You know, I never have I have never watched a single episode of any of the Star Trek spin offs. Not one. Um, go to Philip's house, he has every one of them. I believe it. <laughs> but like I don't know, there's Deep Space Nine. And that and I don't even know all the names of all the different spin off series. I haven't watched one. Um, there's seven different series if I'm not mistaken. Sounds about right. Like Star Trek, the original, I love it. I I can't, I can't, I just can't fuck, uh, bring myself to watch any of those new ones. Um, I'm sure they're very good. In fact, I'm sure they're better in many ways than the old show, but. Wow. That one that I said that you don't need it? Yeah. That's for a floppy drive. It's a floppy drive adapter. Good lord. That's really old school. Yeah, but some, I mean, I have some floppy drives and some of my stuff. Yeah. That's what we have is the 650X. Yes. Because does this, this shows other models, right? Yeah, it shows uh, it shows five different models. Right. So we're on the 650X. So that says it's a 24. Well, 20 plus four. So this end here has to go into. Yeah, right now, there's only one in the front here. Yeah. We're talking about these ex accessory cooling fans. Oh, look at... I don't know what those are for. Okay. Uh, well, they're, they're double-sided. Sticky. Or, oh, no. Maybe they're for to uh, protect against vibration. I think so. Or cushion. Yeah, see? It doesn't even say... There isn't even really instructions. See, there's a that center pops out and it fits right there. 
and then well it, it uh, insulates it from the rest of the unit see this is where all these these all connect to this little damn thing that and then that goes to that that goes to a, a SATA that, is, that takes a SATA connector no isn't it look at this it's too big I think no. Yeah, the damn remote control. Apparently. That's for these though. Yeah. Oh, and look at colors. <laughs> yeah. I think you're a you might be able to play a tune. Command the color <laughs> scheme you want. I don't know. I am not a hundred percent sure. There there isn't even any instructions on them. There's nothing. Like I said, I, I bought them because the guy in this build said, oh yeah, get these. It definitely looks like a SATA connector, and, it, and, and from that point of view, it should just plug into one of these. Does it? See if it will. Just like that. Yeah. So it is a SATA connector, that's what I thought. And then, and then as many of these fans as you can fit in the case, because people literally, they they add the extra fans there, there's, there's a space and there, and, there and probably on the bottom. Yeah. As far as the bottom is concerned. And here's here's what they have yeah, for. You can put it on the bottom because that that track there slides, right? See see what they have for mounting them. They're little we. Yeah, those are standard. They're standard. So that would go in that way. There's a package of screws for every fan. But to get oh, so so what you're doing is is you have to remove that mesh cover and you screw right through those holes yeah. into that. Yeah, I know that. I know that. Okay. I know that. Why don't we do it? I don't have a problem with that. Let's do it. Um, to get one in the bottom, though, we've got to take the power supply back out. <laughs> I think, unless this panel here comes off. Well, like it, it looks like it should, this? but you need to look at the manual and just see. Well, the front, this front will snap off. Guaranteed. The whole front. Pick that up. This will, this will, guaranteed this will just snap off. It, it'll snip. Yeah, I've, I hate taking them off though. Yeah, because you've got stuff connected up here, don't you? Yep. And um, aside from that, I've had these things break on me before. Okay. They're just a nuisance when well, they Let's, at the very least, see this little magnetic guy in the top. Yep. We can put two fans up there. Yep. That's easy there's piece. Even, there's even slot rails there for them. Sure. Well, we'll we can put two. Now, you said they orientate this way? Yes. And the reason is because they want to suck the air out of the case. So, and the wire is going to be fed in behind that cover we just put back on? No. Yes. Yeah, the wires here are probably long enough to go down around through behind and come back out the front somewhere. Yeah. Let's just double check that. But there well, is, you, there you is lots of cable. You connect it, yeah. Okay. Um, the smart thing to do here is to take those little, these little guys. Yep. We're just, uh, just because. I keep moving the wrong screw. We're adding these little, what are called, up here auxiliary coolers. You can see where those guys fit. They just go right in there like that. And now all they do is they cushion that. Yes. So that'll minimize vibration. Right. Or, or excess noise from vibration. Yeah, little shock absorber. Yep. Cool. 
And the whole thing is, these are these fans are colored. I think, to be honest, I think they're just white. I think it's just a like a white light. But what does it say on here? Well, no, this if it's the right light inside there, they will actually change color. There's a little remote for it. I don't. I. There's no instructions with the damn thing. I'm sure a guy could go online and you would find the instructions on how to figure out this little gizmo, but and it's probably intuitive, I guess. On auto. Once, once you start, I, I would it. I would guess if you hit auto, it it might it might It'll uh, probably cycle through. It would probably cycle through colors, yes. Or I guess the idea would be I want to select blue or orange light or red light, whatever. There you go. That's that's my guess. Okay, so there's one. Yes. Oop, do oh. another one. Whoa! Delegation. <laughs> Oops, that's sticky. You didn't tell me it was sticky. Well, it has to be, otherwise it doesn't stay on. Well, how the hell am I? <laughs> how did you get the hole out of it? Just you just wedge it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that little piece that came out of there was. Sticking to me. All right, put one of these on. There we go. Yep, got one done. <coughs> it's actually easier if you take the little hole guy out first. Um, I need that guy. Computer cooling is a critical component. The more cooling you got, the better. <laughs> dust collectors too. It's crazy the dust that you get in your computer. Yep. I'm guilty of uh, not being real diligent about cleaning. Every now and then you have to. Uh, yeah. Because if you don't, um, you can damage the, uh, the unit. Well, I'm guilty as charged. I don't do it much. Got one in there. Sweet. I think there's only room for the two up here. Yeah, I believe it. You can actually get what's called a 160. These are 120s. Okay. So the 160s will fit two perfectly on the top, whereas in this case they're going to be a little bit um, of a gap in the middle. They're offset slightly. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Um, I need some more of those screws in that. Uh, in the box. So we have got five of these little auxiliary fans, but we probably are going to end up just with four of them in, right? We can actually physically get four in there. Yeah, because we'll put, we'll put two on the bottom. There is space on uh, two on the bottom? Well, there's room for one in the front, too. Yeah, but that's the one that we said is a pain in the butt to get at. Isn't no, it? that's easy. Oh, it's easy to get this one? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said it was a pain in the butt. No, 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 no. Oh. You're putting them right tight to each other? Well, I pretty much have to because the cable right here okay. gets in the way. Oh, yeah. And you don't want to put too much stress on that cable because it goes to one of the connectors on the board, right? Yep. Yeah. That's just a little self tapping screw. You could try and force it in, but I don't see any point in that. No, I agree. Anytime you try and force something, generally speaking, something breaks. There we go. This is going along nicely. 
taste test. So we'll pull this back cover off here for a second. And then these guys can go out right through there. If I can get them to start. This type of case where the cables go in behind the board is very nice. It, the only problem with them is that to get that, you have to make everything thicker and bigger. Mm. But it means the inside has no clutter. Is that my power button right there? That would be the power button. Ew. Okay, so now the question. See, this doesn't have uh, USB 2. It's USB 3. It does have USB 2. Does it? Yep, it's on the board. So we don't know for sure where we're going to route these. Well, where's our connector? This is. And if it will go through there. Oh, bring him. Oh, yeah, bring him out to the back. There you yeah. go. That's. So that's. You don't need that in the front. Yeah, that's definitely the way to go. And then all you need to do right there. If it might be too thick, though. There, back here by the power supply, there's, there's room right there. See that? If you just set it on the on the bottom. Yeah. Oh yeah. You'd sit right there. And, and don't actually attach it to anything, is what you're saying. Yeah. That sounds like stars. Sounds like a chopper. That's sounds what like, I said. It sounds like stars. Sounds like mash. Yeah, but the chopper only comes to town here when there's an accident. Oh. Like when it's this close. Mm. Um, there's military choppers go over from time to time, but they're never, you don't hear them like that. Okay. So yeah, so we can... Theoretically. Yeah, he, he could fit in it, all of that in it, right in there. It would be lovely. Is that a Velcro? That is a Velcro. Yeah, so loosen him up, bring that guy in behind, add him into that little bundle. Maybe you want to connect those, get those little connectors first. No. <laughs> I would, well, most people would. Uh. But not us. <laughs> oh, no, no. I just said maybe connect it first. No, so which side do you need? Because there's two sides. They're the exact same. I think it's just so whichever is most convenient to you. I don't think it matters. Yeah, but there's location slots on it. I believe that. I believe they have to go that way. I believe you. Yeah, you see there's two little tits there on the bottom of it. They're not little... It, there's a, there'll be a little notch where that goes into. Do you see the notch? I think it goes that way. Well, wait a sec. That's that's an alignment thing. Yeah, I know. I know there's an alignment thing on it. Well, what I was going to show you is that those. Well, if it's going in, it must be right. Yeah. Because th th you see the location. No, the pins are dead center. I thought they were offset, but no, they're not. Okay. Carry on. I think we're okay. Um, That's the way you just did that one. Yeah. They're just... They're a snug little guy. They're just little beggars to get in there, yeah. Okay, so that, we need to get, if we're going to do one here on the bottom, which we can. Yep, let's do it. Now this guy, do we want him blowing? You want him to... He, he Is he going to pull air? Because this is the direction the air goes, right? The air goes that way, yeah. So, does he want to be exhausting out of the case? 
I would say... Yes, yes, I would say he wants to go this because way. Because this is going to suck air in yeah, he, and blow it out. I think back. this guy wants to go out. I think it wants to go out too. Okay. Because that will help cool this off. We're unanimous. It's, it's going to suck air in through the front cover here anyway. Yeah. Which is what you really want. Yeah. yeah this little guy, so he's going to go out. That way. That way. I'm not sure we need to unravel all you of want to just uh, flip the case it's gonna be easier to get it or no uh, it's it's okay um, for because again you, you, you again you've got you can see the, the slots where it's gonna screw in Ooh, this this computer is gonna have serious serious airflow And there's nothing wrong with that. Nope. Um, so I wondered. I I I thought yeah, uh, you might invite Philip out for this, but um, I never thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Literally never he, thought about it. He he would have fun with this, but it would take him five minutes. Yeah, but he's uh, he's busy with all kinds of other stuff too, though. Of course he is. He's doing um. Doing the computer systems over here at Hayda Columbia. Okay. Because um, uh, a few years back, um, another guy bought the company. Yes. So uh, Brent wasn't running the store at that point, but he never sold the building. He just sold the company. Mm -hmm. um, so the guy decided that he doesn't want to be here in Kelmar. He wants to open up his own thing in his own building. Mm -hmm. In uh, Devon. Okay. And uh, so that's where he is at this point. And Brent has taken the store back. I'll set them there so I don't lose them inside the case. Did we get the, no? We didn't get the foamies on there. What do you mean we didn't? Yeah. We didn't. Well, we better do something about that. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Okie doke, please. <laughs> sort of. It's a long down thing. Holy smokes. Well, I bought it specifically that length because I do some stuff with computers every now and then. And uh, it works for anything else, too. Yes. Grass here. I'm kind of doing your job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just centering them as much as I can on that opening there. Those aren't tight yet.
Okay, move you down a little light. That's good enough. There we go. That, those are all tight. So that's... Okay. So we've got three fans in. We have three fans in. And we have room for one more. On the front. Screwdriver. On the front panel. This is where it becomes a bad screwdriver. Yeah. That's where we need a shorter guy. So it's right here. It's right there, yeah. And we gotta get the little rubber guys. Somebody's falling down on the job again. No, I just got one done. and So this one needs to go on this side. Because that's going to suck air into the cabinet. Sure. I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check on this one here. I'll get these on while you figure that out. Yep. Oh, I see what you're telling me. Yes. Well, that sucks air into the cabinet. These suck air out of the cabinet. The fan sucks into the power supply and then exhausts out the back. And the other one here sucks air from the front out down through the bottom. Okay. Because <clears throat> there's, you wouldn't want that one to suck air in because there's nowhere for it to go. Sure. You have to take my word for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep it simple, stupid. You got it figured out? I'm good with that. I just... Uh... Okay, here we go. Oh shit, they screw in from the front. So to get that in there, we have to take the front panel off. Yeah, that's what I thought. And just and that's as far as you got to go. Pretty much. It's just uh, just I need to get yeah that turned out there a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, and there's slots right here for them. Um, this is on the wrong side. They're supposed to be on this side because it sucks air into the cabinet. Well, I put I put them on there the way you told me to. That's what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I'm gonna see if I can get them off of here. Oh, they'll come off. They're not. They've only just been put on, so they should just come off. Yeah, it's not super good. So you're, you're sure about this now? Yep. Okay. 100%. Okay. 100% is pretty, pretty definite. I put them on exactly the way you told me. <laughs> yep. Told you that then. Easy language. <laughs> we'll censor that. I apologize. You have a bleep tool, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Did you watch my Cooper video? The, the, I don't know what it is. The I, Cooper video? Yeah, shot a video of uh, compressors at work. And uh, it was 30 below. And this one compressor's got a serious issue with the air start valves. Hmm. Like there was three or I think three different air start valves. There might even be four of them on the unit that don't function. We're trying to roll over one of those giant engines when air start valves aren't functioning. It is frustrating. Um, screws. screws.
So we just installed the fourth of these auxiliary fans. We still have one other, but I don't think he's going in here. Okay, we don't have room for the fifth one. Um, no? No, because you can only put one in the back, which it's already got one. You can only add one to the base, which we did. You yeah. can only add one to the front, and you can only put two up here. Okay. So, the next thing, I guess, this little dude can go back on here. Yep, that can be, that would be fine. Um, um, what we need to do now is get the rest of these guys here plugged in. We've got three plugged in, and there should be this one should be able to come through up there somewhere. Or I could just feed it through there, either one. Be These little uh, white twist ties that came with it, we could actually use to tie them together too. Is yeah, we're going to have to tie them together a little bit. Yeah. Just well, to. But why don't we just use these little white uh, twist ties? They'll be handy for it instead of a zip tie. Yeah, they'll be fine. Just trying to get this thing here in the right spot. Should go that way. Okay, I'm just going to turn the camera off for a sec. we got to conserve battery because we down to this is our last battery. When we get to put the big CPU cooler on and the graphics processing unit on, we'll fire that up again. We're setting up to put in the big uh, CPU cooling fan. We're going to make sure we get the orientation correct for the airflow through it relative to the fans that are on the case you know these guys are blowing out this guy's blowing out as well isn't it this one this, one? this guy here's yes. this guy here's sucking air in Sucks. that air should just go right straight through there right and but these guys are drawing air across yeah essentially basically we just have to reverse this mounting bracket otherwise we would have been fighting the airflow you have one pushing and one pulling Nobody goes anywhere. Yeah. How are you looking at the fan and you know which direction the air goes? Because of the shape of the blades. Uh, this that's the doesn't, backside. It never, that's the backside. It never turns that way. Yeah. It always turns this way. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell that's the backside. Okay. So now, if that goes on there, this goes on this way. Want me to hold it? Sure. This is kind of a wire clip that comes around here. It's kind of, it's got a little spring tension to it. Just trying to get it the same mm -hmm. level there. Okay. Now we can put some of this stuff on it. This is your heat sink paste. It goes on the bottom of the fan and we'll uh, insulate the CPU, the processor. You only need like about a half an inch of that, eh? You don't need very much, but you need to, there we go. It was just kind of jammed. 
you want a nice light film. You don't need it to be a 16th or even a 32nd thick. You need it to be. I guess you got to take that thing off. Helps if you know what you're doing. Eh? Mm -hmm. Basically, you just want to make it even on there. This is one of those things where less is actually yeah. more. Yeah, the dude that I... The video I watched the other day, the guy, yeah. Kleenex, yeah. right here, Kleenex, the dude that I watched, he just put a, he just put a light little line, like h half an inch long, yeah. and when he put it on, it just spread out, perfectly covered it. Yeah, well, I've always done it this way. Um, right. I've never had a CPU fry on me. Fairly important. Well, it's a good track record to have. <laughs> yeah, well, it's fairly important. Anyway, the, having a little bit around the sides it makes no difference whatsoever, other than it's kind of uh, ugly to look at. So, since that fan is going to connect, we need to actually reverse it. This should be at the bottom. The power yep. cord needs to go that way. Okie dokie. Well, that's just a relatively minor adjustment. There we go. And that little beauty can go in there. Um, bring the light over farther. There we go. You need to be able to see what we're doing. How, you, how am I doing? Better? Yeah, that's, that's good. We want to get that lined up. Uh, we can, uh, I don't know where the screws are. You got them? The screws are in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, they had a spring on them, didn't they? Yep. They're, they're, so they're basically in a retainer. I just need to get them to line up to the, the bracket that's there, and I think it's working. Yep. need to be relatively snug. Mm -hmm. Nice. Here we go. Okay. <coughs> and then your secondary fan. Or no, this is actually, this is actually that's the, the primary. primary. That's the primary. That's the secondary. So he's got to be... It's got to blow air this way. Too. Same way. So it's so got to go that way. Where is the power supply got to go for the cable out? The cable has to come down here. Okay. Need the light. Light. Am I helping? A little bit. I wonder if we should have it attached to the front. You mean over here? Yeah. I think I'm going to do that actually. It, it absolutely can be. There's room. No, right? no, 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 not there. But the front of the cooling towers. As opposed to having two fans on one cooling tower. Yeah, I mean, you mean you're here? No. Oh. In theory, we could, but I don't want to do it because of the memory that's there. Yeah. I think it would just get in the way. Um, you're talking on to this guy. Right now, it's set up to attach to the to the second tower. Yeah. But oh, having, I see. Having you're two, gonna you're gonna put them on that side. Having two on one tower, I don't think is. I don't know that it matters, but I think it would be better if it was attached to the other tower so the weight yeah. is equal. That's what I thought you were talking about doing. And that's, uh, who knows, that may not make any difference whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, but in my mind, if it's, uh, that's the way my mind works. 
<laughs> yeah. How about that? Yeah. I just think that it makes sense to me. Makes sense. So, therefore, we're going to do it that way. Okay. Now, here's the awkward part. The outside one will probably go on tickety boo. Just like that. But you got to get in there. And we got those little white fans in the way. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh huh. Ta da! I need a light though. With a little bit of light, this will actually work. Get it to the right approximate height. Snap in there? No, it's it's just snapped into the front half of the fan. Mm. Damn it. Take out the second. We are uh, at the point here we're going to put in the GPU. We got the CPU cooling fan in finally. Really, there was really a pain connecting the, the two the power supplies on the back there for these two fans. Because you, you had to put them in right in between the case and that cooling tower. This thing takes up two slots. Okay, and then we'll have to feed in one yeah. more. I need the light. Yeah, plus he, he has to go down onto pins on the board, right? Well, this goes into the first uh, PCI slot. Right. It should go in. see in the damn case things because the, that's the problem with big video cards is you can't tell if it's lined up with the slot. I'm gonna remove that screw too because right now it's in the way. It's effectively stopping this from socketing in I think. You can feel it when it goes into the slot, but it's mm -hmm. not. Doesn't feel like it's lined up correctly. It does not. Oh, it was a cover, a shield on the damn thing. I mean, that makes sense. It keeps the contacts clean, but I didn't see it before. So, makes it look pretty tough to put it in there. <laughs> How about impossible? Was that the only thing? It wasn't the second one. It's the only thing. Okay. But we got to get it so that it's. It should be right there. There, it just dropped in, I think. Didn't it? Well, it's crooked though. It can't be in right. Okay. locked in. Okay. Now what we need to do is have somebody hang on to that lamp. <laughs> somebody? I'll nominate you. Thanks. I'll second that nomination. Well, sure you go back in the hole you came out of. Stick my fat head in there and have a look. Why not? <laughs> I can't put that one in until I loosen that off because I gotta wiggle it just a bit.
You know what's funny? The that card you said is huge, but physically, that's a, that's much smaller than the I think the old one I have. It might be. Yeah. My my issue is the depth of the board, mm -hmm. because my board is not only not that tall, it's not this wide, uh -huh. and the size of my case. There's things here that basically just conflict with it. Right. Well, we have, and one of them is the front audio cable. We have everything it, in there. Yes, in this case, you have lots of front audio cable. Mine literally comes out of here, and I don't have a choice with that. Yeah. And it has to go that way to reach the header. Uh -huh. And because of that, I don't have enough cable to get around yeah. the card. So I can't do a big card. So that's your, your graphics processing unit that we just put in. Yes, and we're not quite done yet because we need a power cable for this. Yes. Yes. Which you, means we have to do something back here yet. Uh, that little bag. One of them. Either one of these, they're, they're the same. Okay. Okay, I'm going to shut the camera off again for a minute. I have to figure out which one of these. Things better, so it has an angled plug. Oh. So what that means is, I have to redo a whole bunch of stuff up here. Okay. Otherwise, we can't plug it in. Holy smokes! This friggin' monitor trying to get it out of this box. Well, maybe we can. Well, jeez, I think it's a two-man operation. I think that'll be okay. It's not, it's not ideal, but it's not going to stay there for long anyway, so. Like, I can't get it out of unless I just open up both sides of the box and literally push this, the damn thing out. in the edge of the box it locks the styrofoam in. Uh -huh. you, gotta, you gotta pull this stupid little handle thing out. So, so the styrofoam then, the, then it just comes out like that. the base. Yeah, there's a bunch of parts here. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big ass tripod. It is. There's that. <clears throat> that one oh, HDMI cable. Yep. Definitely need that. There was another. This has display port and HDMI. This is definitely, uh, sorry, this is uh, 
Yes, this is going to be in my head. So you may have another cable in there for a display port as well. But you don't need it. Display port is interesting because you can hook up uh, multiple monitors okay. using display port. Okay. You have one display port on your motherboard and you get a, a display port multiplier. Yeah. And you plug in the multiplier to your board and you can plug three, four, five different monitors in. So you can go right around in a circle if you're in the, depending what kind of video game you're playing, right? Which is oh. really what it's for. Yeah, of course. That's where most of this stuff originates. That's what I said. So this, it looks like, the, 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 the way this back here is, it looks like it just kind of clips into the back of the monitor. Oh, there's two screws. Somewhere. Which needle nose? The needle big one? No, but I need the big ones. There's plugs in the back here that have to come out, and I can't get a hold of them at all with my fingers. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. This thing. No. Yeah, it just. It does, it just snaps in there, but I think then there's two screws that retain it once you get it in, right here. That's a retainer. Yeah, but there's two screws here. They'll go into that. See? Are they, they're not in there yet. No, they must be in the... I'm going to have to find them. Well, I was throwing stuff around here. What is this thing for? I can't see it. Look at these tiny screws. Oh my god. Whole cover. I don't know. Is there a hole in the back of it? That's what it looks like. That's the screws you need to put in there? <laughs> yeah, right in there. You need that little wee yellow handle. Oh, they're that out. tiny? They're tiny little guys. Let's see if this fits. This might still fit, yeah. You see where they're going to go? Yep. One goes right there. Oops. <laughs> I know where it is, I saw it. Okay. It's not catching anything. No. Oh, wait a minute, maybe it is, yeah. It is finally. Yeah. There we go. That's that. It's still got old school on it. Okay. Why would it have... It doesn't make any sense. Anyway. I'm 
must be a reset or something. Maybe your power button. Uh, very possibly, yes. Imagine it is. I think you're right. So for the short term, I didn't try and route these cables. Right. I literally just brought them on the outside here. So the HDMI already got. Sorry. Your your HDMI you got plugged in already. Uh, I got it plugged into the CPU. I don't have it plugged into the monitor just yet. Uh huh. We we're getting there. Anything I can do? Um. Play by play. <laughs> yeah. Well. I hope our battery lasts long enough to show the moment, you know, we start. Well, Boom. Here's, here's the thing, to, uh, you still got to get your operating system in here too. Where did we're, our little Windows 10 uh, stick end up? <laughs> it's there somewhere. Uh, look right at, there. Look at, look right at our, there. okay, look at our pile of stuff here. Oof, oof. What's the paintbrush for? That's for cleaning stuff. Clean the lenses or Okay. Like these cameras are waterproof, but one of the things where the where the the camera closes for your battery and uh, memory card and stuff, yeah. you, want, you want to make certain that seal is clean, so I've got that little brush to you know. Um just hang on a sec, I'm gonna The monitor is lit lit up. Yeah, I'll be right there. Oh, don't do that. Okay. I mean, when you get everything in there, there really isn't any extra room except here and here. And I expect that that drive bay that we found yeah. probably goes in there somewhere. Uh -huh. But we're not going to use it at this point, um, so it doesn't really matter. You know, on, on my old computer where I put an auxiliary SSD drive, yeah. I didn't even put it in a thing. I just it's hanging on the cable, and it works fine. Yeah, I've I've done that too. Because they they don't have any motion. No, if you have a an old uh, like the larger SSD drives, yeah, some double sided tape, you can stick one right there. Yeah. All you have to do is have access to cabling to plug it in. So are we ready to hit the switch? I think we're pretty darn close. Um, well, you've. Verified everything. I mean, everything's connected, right? Mm -hmm. We have to. We have power. Yeah, but we might not have power to the CPU yet. Oh, yeah, the on switch? Yeah, I believe that's on. Yes. Probably when it's flipped up. It's yeah, definitely on. Yeah, lights. She just lit up. Look at that. It's alive. There's lights. That's coming off the uh, DDR, right? Uh, no, the DDR is up here. Oh, so what is that? Oh, that's that's right on the board. Yeah. There's a header there. Oh, and these fans have to be turned on with this. Probably. No, they should come on automatically. Oh. Um, because they're just plugged into one of the main power feeds. So, the, yeah, when that button comes on, then they should turn on. There you go. So this cycles through all the, the colors there as it boots. Yeah. And if there's any colors left with any lights still on, then there's a problem with it. So I think the first thing it's going to tell us is there's no operating system, which we already know that. Yeah, I can feel the airflow there. You should, yeah. It's blowing out. Um, so, one of these cards has the thing for the lights. The green light is on. So I need to know what the green light means. Which, what do you mean? One of these sheets that I printed. Oh, okay. Well, you got a bunch of them. This one. Okay. Boot is yellow green, VGA is white, CPU is red, DRAM 
trim is yellow. And that is... It looks green. That's the one at the top. That's the green one. So the boot is yellow green. So check key components, CPU, DRAM, VGA card and booting devices in sequence. If an error is found, the corresponding LED remains lit until the problem is solved. So according to that, it's not booting. Oh, of course, there's no operating system. That's in front of you. That is a tick. So, so I plugged in the, uh, the network as well. Because as soon as you do this, you're going to have to... Yeah, it's going to have to up upload. Right yeah. yeah, they're weird little stick. They... So to do this, you just reboot the computer and it starts from that, right? Yeah, I believe so. Keep this in case you ever need to reinstall Windows 10 Home. Yeah, it's got the... That's the key. I know the that. The key is on there. So it's not talking to the monitor yet, though. Shouldn't there be at least something come on to the monitor? It, it, not if it doesn't boot. Okay. So what we're going to do is just going to power it off. Yep. And we'll see if it sees that. Hopefully it does. You'd think it would. The light is on, but it's not on like it was before, so I'm guessing it's doing something. And I'm guessing that we just sit here and wait for a bit. Something will happen. Well, while we're waiting for that to happen, I'm just feeling this stuff off. Non-essential stuff. But I've never actually installed Windows from a stick like this, so I don't know for sure what the exact process is. Have you done it? Yep. Yeah. And what did you do? Uh, I think I literally just put the stick in and turned on the computer and it, and it saw that. Is our USB uh, Obviously, our USB is okay, isn't it? The keyboard? Where's the keyboard? Keyboard's working? Oh, well, I've got this keyboard plugged in. Okay. The other keyboard is right there. Yeah. Um, but that by itself shouldn't make any difference. So is that stick in correctly? As far as I can, I'm pushing the whole case at this point. Okay. Everything is there. The monitor is on. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the monitor wasn't on. Okay. It wasn't on. Well, I... Oh, you just hit the button on the back? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then uh, we're good to go. All we have to do is... Uh... So, follow the prompts. Pretty much. You okay. okay with the U.S. keyboard and stuff? I'm going to switch my glasses back. These are more powerful, but they're too much power for this. These work better. Uh, if you're okay with English U.S. and time and currency format English U.S. and keyboard U.S., then yeah. hit the next. Install now. Ooh, this is, this is it. it. It worked. Of course. Brother key. M. Okay. Six. Nine. Nine. Two. We 
should keep this secret. <laughs> Probably. We'll hide the product key. Sorry. Did you get a, a letter wrong? MPP7K 6R9P2 P988T not 7 9CWF2 XTKP7 We'll edit that out. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, well the product key is still being shown. <laughs> we'll edit that out, don't worry. <laughs> These are all stuck here now. Yeah. That's how I don't care. I know. Um, this you need to keep. I know that. Safe. Put in that little Ziploc and the stick will go in there too after. So let's just chug in here for a bit. Perfect. So now it's um. I accept the license terms. You have to. I know. So this is just upgrade. No, you want to go custom. Okay. You're not upgrading anyway. There's nothing in here. True. Okay. Good. So it automatically sees both drives. Yeah. That's where you want to put it. Yeah. So you need to, it's unallocated, so you need to format it, I believe, mm -hmm. or, or hit new. I think you hit new. And go apply. Yeah, so it took 515 megabytes is used for recovery. So it's going to actually probably, I'm going to guess, install files into that 500 megs. So you still got 460, 450 gigabytes for sure that is still free. So we need to format that I believe. No. Because it's already done that. I think we just need to go next. But we have to, we'll have to uh, format drive two, the, the one terabyte uh, thing after, right? Maybe. We'll see. You know, I, I'm, yeah. We, we might have to, but that's no big deal. No. Well, what are we going to do with this state? Of, that's the sort of thing where once you started formatting, you can just walk away and have a whiskey. Right. Yeah. Right now we can. <laughs> we should go and see what we're doing with the state, because it's. Uh, uh, right. Right about now, we're not doing anything with it. <laughs> it's get, coming on towards seven o'clock. Yeah, it's uh, probably the book there already. <clears throat> it looks, it looks cool. It's got truckloads of colors. Um, one thing I was curious, where did that goddamn little remote go? I never touched the remote. It's somewhere so. around here. Yeah, there's a pile of crap on the table. But you see why I used that table, right? This is what I was curious about. Oh, yeah, there's a thing in there. Yep. Pretty so intuitive. And then there's auto. So if we go auto, I believe it will cycle through all of the colors. Yep. Mm. Okay, well, we'll go and see. Uh, Yeah, I'm coming. Oh.
computer's still rolling. <laughs> I mean, the camera's still rolling. So, uh, so this little remote, when it's on auto, it, the fans it just cycles through colors. Or if you wanted, you could just go like that and select a single color. We'll just go auto. But I'm going to shut the camera off here for now. We're just booting up Windows 10 and nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see. Everybody drive. terabyte drive is not in here yet. Right. So that that's what we were looking at before. We thought we might have to go in and, and you'll have to actually, allocate it or whatever. You'll have to uh, there's a way we can do that. I have some software that will do that. Because um, right now we only see C drive. That's correct. That's our operating system basically. So we have that one terabyte drive we have to find and allocators, whatever you call it, partition it. See, that's where, like, when I've done in the past, you, you get your system running and you add a, a an SSD or whatever another hard drive and when you do it then it sees the new hard drive and it wants you to give it a name and allocate it and all yep. that crap. Yep. But we've already got it in there. Yeah, that's fine. So we have to figure out how to find it. I know how to find it, I just need to get the software for it. So I'm going to have to go out back upstairs. First of all, my uh, beer is, somebody drank my freaking beer. <laughs> Bloody hell. And uh, I, I have uh, on the server, which is right there, but yep. we can't connect because we can't see it because we can't get on the network. Yeah. Uh, I have software that will pick it up. Yeah, cool. Scroll in active windows when I hover over them. So we're just sitting here now, the computer's running and we're fine tuning programs, basically shutting off all the crap from Microsoft. Would you like autocorrect? No. I like misspelled words? No. No, I can spell. I, I really detest uh, auto spelling and all that crap. Suggest and words that it suggests. Use autoplay for all media and devices. I would say yes. Notify me if there are issues connecting to USB devices. I would leave that turned on as well. Mm -hmm. So we'll go back to phone. We don't want to add a phone to this, I don't think, because you don't have anything to link it with. No, I don't want a phone. Network and internet. Status. Oh, have you heard this deal? Um, your what's 
it called the DNS or something? You, you go 1.1.1.1 and then 1.001. And? Um, it's supposed to make your internet faster. Because you'll have a default, you'll have a default, uh, oh, I forget the correct name for it. I, th I kind of thought it was called a DNS. It's your address. There's some, uh, anyway. So this is automatically set to never. What's that? Limit what store apps and Windows features can do in the background. It's automatically set to never. So that means never limit what store apps and Windows features can do in yeah, the background. Yeah, go, go to always. Always limit. Uh, we'll try that, but it's Windows features. Now, is Windows features mean operating system or just some crap that they want to give it you? It says restrict know. background data to help reduce data usage on Ethernet. Yeah, we'll go with that. Proxy, use a proxy server for Ethernet or Wi-Fi connections. Don't apply to VPNs. I wouldn't worry about that. On the other hand, it says automatically detect settings. Manual proxy setup is off. Automatic proxy setup. I think I'll leave that alone. Personalization. You can. This is where you can change all your stuff yeah. here, right? I always just put on uh, pictures. <laughs> I don't think we need to do anything with that. List in the start menu. I don't like apps. So recently added apps. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. So the app list in the start menu, which is this. Yeah. Uh, that's that thing. I hate apps. I don't know, it still shows them. Yeah, it probably, those are probably just. This should give you a list of your programs, not this crap. You have to turn it on to get this. Yeah, I, uh, I never use that stuff. Yeah, here's, here's what you do. You unpin that, you unpin that, you unpin that, unpin that. I never use any of that crap. I don't either. These are designed for cell phones and and stuff like uh, iPads and sort of tablets. Okay, so now you just have your programs. You don't need that other crap. I don't even need that. Because <laughs> any one of those things, you just type it down in that uh, search bar in the bottom. I'm going to leave it on. You just go straight to it. Yeah, I'm going to leave it on. Because then you can you can actually do that. Mm -hmm. um, where are we? We're going to start taskbar. Lock the taskbar. Sure. Automatically hide is off. Replace command prompt with Windows PowerShell in the menu when I right click the start button and press Windows E. I think that's okay. Show badges on the taskbar buttons. I don't think that's a problem. Everything else here is off. So, where did we go here? We were in apps, weren't we?
have a preference for films and TV? No. I generally just use Windows Media Player. Then it'll, it's going to come up anyway. Yeah. On the other hand, this says it's recommended for Windows 10. So we'll do that. That way you'll get Windows Media Player. And for this one, I don't use this one because I don't like it. The, the old one from Windows 7 is a better one. problem is they want you to go to the app store to get the damn thing. Mm, of course. And I can't remember. What was that for anyway? Photos. I never use it. It seems to me if you have a photo in here and you don't Nope. Is this still in here? Sure it is. Um, there you go. That's using that. So if we go to this and open with search the Microsoft store. Might be that one I know my computer upstairs still has the original that was in Windows 7. Yeah. And all I had to do was find it, but it's been a while since I've done it. So uh, we f finished the computer build there last night, like 11 o'clock. Works beautiful. Bruce went through and uh, edited out all the silly extra things that Microsoft tries to uh, make you a slave to, you know, software things and hidden little apps, all that stupid stuff. So that's good. All the bits and pieces and extra boxes and everything just neatly packed up, ready to go. And uh, even I'm going to put that soft cover and then the bag over the monitor to protect it when I book out of here. I think we're going to just have a little visit here now. Computer, she's ready to rock.